Hello everyone. Anything to anybody? Hello. Any way you want. Going down one ways. Chaos. Hey everyone. It's another beautiful day in Mexico City. I'm in uh, one of my favorite gardens. Well, tomorrow is a new moon. And the moon definitely affects people. We're made of 90% or 95% water, whatever the number is. So there's no doubt that it impacts us. But this past week, you know, it's impossible not to be a little concerned with what's going on. And I try to stay focused and stay busy. And uh, I'm always busy with something. Hey. Mostra mis amigos. Gracias. Buen dia. So he said it's uh, made in, uh, well, you probably understood what he said, so I don't need to repeat it. Yeah, when it's this nice outside, I much prefer to work at night, get out and walk, and but this is really the definition of joy for me. Just get a coffee, you get outside, and uh, somebody's making noise there. Get outside and uh, just walk, explore, and enjoy. I haven't been in Mexico City in a year and a half before I came back, so just seeing what's changed, what's different. A lot more vacancies, a lot more for rent, for sale, a lot more uh, buildings that are just completely empty. So I think the economics are being felt here. That street behind me, that goes up to a little, nice little park, which then leads to uh, uh, Parque de Bombilla, the, the, the light bulb park. Okay, well I have started writing book number two. I'm going to hold off on the title right now, but long story short, I am, I've got about six or seven chapters and it, written, I'm guessing. I have a lot of information and now what I have to do is as I write and as I take all this information that I have, I have to then, it's like taking a giant, uh, like if you threw a deck of cards out, you now you have to take that deck of cards and put it back into order so that it actually makes sense. And that's the slow and time consuming, well it's all slow and time consuming if I have to be honest. There's no simple process. Occasionally you get into a groove and you start writing and that's what I try to do is uh, my writing style is is it's like um, it's like a total brainstorm. I have another word on my mind, but I don't want to gross anybody out. But basically, it's just really bleh. you just put everything out on paper on the screen or on the computer, and then you go back and you edit it, and you take what works and you delete what doesn't work, and and eventually it expands into other ideas. So what I do is, when I come up with these characters, I come up with names that I think are interesting names, or names that I'm just walking and I'll pop into my head. A couple of these names. In fact, last night I was writing about this guy uh, in the book who works for the State Department. 
and and I had to come up with one of these names that you'd find somebody in uh, Harvard or Yale. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Yep, it's the afternoon already. Um, what was I saying? So, so I'm not sure all the different characters I'm going to have, but whether there's guys in the military, policemen, teachers, judges, government people, um, the various kinds, foreigners. You know, if anybody has any interesting names, you know, throw them in the comments below. Uh, someone's chasing someone. Just chased him across the hall. I could see him coming. He was guy on top. He sprinted like his life depended on it. What's up, buddy? No, I don't have any food for you. <laughs> Polly want a cracker? <laughs> They're not afraid of anybody. That guy's long gone. The one he was chasing. <laughs> 